Weekend for meteorologists across the Midwest, the teams from the National Weather Service, they've been assessing the damage. And among the incidents, this tornado near Spalding, Nebraska. We did show you this video on Friday within minutes of when this tornado touched down. Meteorologist David Keller shows us what NWS crews are looking at now. Yeah, the damage surveys continue even today. The National Weather Service sifting through all the data they've collected. So far, we have roughly 12 tornado tracks in our area across the state. That number closer to 15 or 16. Uh, one of the bigger tornadoes, of course, the one we've been focused on most is this tornado that developed in Dodge County. Indications are that tornado developed on Highway 30 between Ames and North Bend. All of this information preliminary. The National Weather Service still working to kind of finalize the details on on these tornado tracks, but you can see that developing there, Southern Dodge County producing damage here to the northwest of Ames. This is coming from the National Weather Service Storm Damage Survey. You can see some farm buildings that are completely destroyed by that tornado. It then continued to track through Northern Dodge County, crossing Highway 275 between Scribner and Hooper, continuing to do damage in Northeastern Dodge County. This west of Hooper, you can see more buildings destroyed by that tornado, farm outbuildings completely mangled by the high winds right now estimates of about an EF2 tornado that means wind speeds around or over 100 miles per hour more farm buildings destroyed this is west of Euling uh, from this National Weather Service storm damage survey this tornado continued right along and just west of Highway 77 narrowly missing Euling Oakland Oakland and Lyons it's still doing some damage here just to the west of Oakland you can see this building totally destroyed by the tornado and more damage to the north Northwest of Oakland. We also have a number of tornadoes that touched down in Stanton County with wind speeds around 100 to 110 miles per hour. Three tornadoes there and a couple more tornadoes that did touch down in Madison County as well. Thankfully, those were slightly smaller tornadoes, but a lot of data to get through. National Weather Service still finalizing all those details, so we'll continue to follow that and bring you updates as we get them. All right, David.